in the business as shop whatever raw material finished goods you have kept that is only we call it as stock level what is evoq economic order quantity A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Radha Sir here, lecturing with the Ashram Facilitate College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we done with your Unit One and Unit Two. Unit One, as you know, that it is completely theory oriented, and Unit Two, it is all about your cost sheet with estimation. Cost sheet problem, we have done many problems, and estimation, we have done just one or two problems. Why? Because the ninety percent of the concept of cost sheet. Included in the estimation problem, and in your examination, the most expected will be cost sheet, and that's why we took much time. Now, the next topic we are doing that is unit three. Unit three it is nothing but material. What is material like? Whatever you have discussed in the cost sheet, the same thing we are doing unit wise. Like in the cost sheet, what happened? Like. We have direct material. We have direct labor. We have direct overhead. Indirect overhead. Now, material comes under step one. Your labor comes under step one, and all the overhead, factory, administration, selling and distribution, all comes under step two, three, as well as four. Whatever steps we learned in the cost sheet, the same thing unit wise we will learn. Like direct material is a separate unit, direct labor is a separate unit, and overhead, factory, office, and selling that is a separate unit. Again, unit wise we are learning now. Now we are discussing material topic. Material topic: how much marks you will get each and everything, and what are the topics covered under material? Whether it is easy or difficult, everything we will understand and we will learn in today's session. Your agenda is very simple. We'll go with the stock level, EOQ, ABC, BIM card differences. So in your Topic called material. Along with this, we have one more thing. That is nothing but your LIFO and FIFO. With this, your material topic ends. Means under material, you have small small concept like stock level is a not small concept. It is a bigger one only, and this may come for ten mark in your examination. EOQ is a small concept, five mark. Your stock level, ten mark. EOQ, five mark. ABC analysis is a theory. Bin card theory. Differences also theory. All this, out of this, any one may come for five marks. And the last concept will be called as LIFO FIFO. It is compulsory fifteen mark question. Clear. Now, what is the total marks weightage of this particular topic? Now, so 15 marks LIFO FIFO. There is a compulsory and sure short question in your examination. Stock level EOQ, ABC, BIN card, and differences. It is not compulsory. Optional. Most of the time, you got a uh, questions from stock level for 10 mark and EOQ also sometimes theory, sometimes problem. They ask. Along with this 15 mark, all put together, 10 mark expected. Total you can expect 25 mark. Maximum 25, minimum 20 marks. 20 to 25 marks is expected in the topic called material. How long do we take to complete this unit? This unit max to max seven to eight sessions. We will complete. It is not difficult. The easiest part in your syllabus that is your material topic. Easiest one in the stock level only. You are supposed to learn the formulas. I'll explain you what is stock level, what is ABC, what is bin card. Everything I'll go through one by one. Before that, I'll give you just the marks allocation of this topic. Stock level only are supposed to learn formula along with formula. Easy to do any number of problems. 
EOQ, economic order quantity. I'll explain you with the example so that you will understand better. ABC analysis, uh, don't go for activity-based costing. That is different. If any IPCC or CS students are there here, ABC means what? Activity-based costing. No, it is not activity-based costing. I'll tell you what is ABC while doing this particular topic. Bin card. Bin card also it is a simple concept. Almost out of 10 question paper, you can find 5 to 6 question paper with a theory called bin card. Bin card versus store ledger. What is bin card? What is store ledger? Those topics we will cover in today's session. Differences. We'll go for differences. And the last one, LIFO FIFO. We are not discussing LIFO FIFO today. In the next session, we'll discuss LIFO FIFO. Why? Because under material topic, material unit, the most important topic, most expected compulsory question, that is LIFO FIFO. We'll spend more time on LIFO FIFO in the next session. So we'll start with stock level. What is a stock level actually? I'll go with the example. Before we go with this definition, I'll go with a simple example. Just assume that you have a two-wheeler bike. Just assume if you are a boy, it is, will be Royal Enfield. If you are a girl, we'll go with the Activa or some like Honda um, Dio. So, so we'll go with your two-wheeler itself. Now, in the two-wheeler, just assume that you have a Royal Enfield. What is the maximum tank capacity? Maybe tank capacity around 13 liters to 15. Maybe 13 liters, I think. I'm not sure. 13 liters to 15 liters. Assume that 13 liter is your maximum tank capacity. Now, if you fill complete fuel in your tank, so this 13 liters, we call it as maximum stock level. What is this? Maximum stock level. Now, in your fuel tank, there is called reserve. Reserve means, again, you need to fill your fuel. Reserve, they have given around 3.5 liters. If your fuel tank is less than 3.5, hope it is 2.5, but for example purpose, we take it as 3.5. Now, if the fuel tank is less than 3.5 liters in your fuel tank, this we call it as reorder level. This to you understood, what is the maximum stock level? Maximum if your 13 liters fuel tank, if it is completely filled, then we call it as maximum stock level. If your fuel tank is around 3.5 liters, we call it as reorder stock level. Now, after that, after that, in case your fuel tank is around 1.5 liters, 1.5 liter, this we call it as minimum stock level. Minimum stock level. In case you are in the worst case, you are on long drive, you didn't find any fuel station and in your fuel tank, it is around 750 ml or less than seven, almost half liter you have. In Royal Enfield, if you have half liter means max to max, it may go for, uh, 14 to 15 kilometers. Now, this we call it as danger level. This we call it as danger level. Maximum stock level, reorder stock level, minimum stock level, danger level. In case you have around six liters or seven liters, this we call it as average stock level. Okay, hope you got this. I'll go to your topic. Before that, just I'll give you idea. In your Royal Enfield bullet, you have 13 liters capacity means, complete 13 liters filled means, we call it as maximum stock level. If it is 750 ml means danger level. 1.5 liter minimum stock level. 3.5, it is a reorder stock level. You have to refill. 
and average six to seven liters means we call it as it is average stock level. Clear? Yeah. Now, why I have gave all this example means in the stock level you have to find out what is the maximum stock level, what is the minimum stock level, what is the reorder level, what is the danger level, what is the average stock level. One, two, three, four, five. Total five formulas you have to learn. If you learn five formulas, your stock level is done, over. No calculation, no concept, nothing. Just remember the formula, whatever given in the question, copy paste, done. Clear? Formula just I'll give you x plus y is equal to z. I'll give, I'm giving you example. x plus y is equal to z. In the question paper, they will give you what is x? 5 rupee. They will give you what is y? 4. 5 plus 4, how much? 9. This much only your stock level. Hope you are clear. Now, learn formula. Apply this. Your problem is done. Easily you will get 10 marks. Clear? Now, why do we call it as maximum stock level, reorder level, minimum, danger, average stock? Why do we call all this? The reason is very simple. If you go to factory, production department, in the production department, what happens? There is a storeroom. There is a production department. Now, for the production, what do you require? You require raw material. You need raw material. Now, if you want to produce something, means you need raw material. Where do you get all your raw material? With store. What store will do? Whenever there is a reduction in the production or there is a reduction in the raw material, the store purchase and keep it with them. Once the raw material closed, again they will buy from store. Clear? So they will supply raw material for the production. If they have not done properly, they have not purchased from the wholesaler or retailer or somebody raw material, the production has to stop. Clear? Very simple. In college, without faculties, can students get classes? No. So management has to bring faculties. This is a store. The management will get faculties. The faculties will go for production. They will teach and they will come. Clear? If faculties are not there, only student comes. What happened? Student has to sit idle. Simply they have to sit. That will be waste of time. Similarly, without raw material, machinery will not work. The labor has to sit idle or simply they have to sit. That's why the store department has to plan properly how much raw material required. They cannot keep more because maintenance cost. They cannot keep less also because in case production is more, they need more raw material. All this planning has to be done in the store department. So how much stock we have in the go down? How much raw material we have in the go down? We have to find out. That is only store is completely filled, maximum stock level. Store is almost nil, danger level. Half of the store is filled, average stock level. If it is almost here, you need to buy again. That is a reorder level. It is almost in between danger and reorder. Then we call it as minimum stock level. Hope you are clear. So these are the things, but uh, in depth not required because they will give you formula. Formula you are supposed to remember. They will give you all the details. Simplify and do. Hope you are clear. This is all about your stock level. Now, the quantity or number of goods or raw material kept on the premises of shop or business. In the business or shop, whatever raw material finished goods you have kept, that is only we call it as stock level. Staff will be able to instantly check the stock level, sell by dates and whether the product has been paid for. So in the go on water, if you are a businessman, whatever the goods you have in the shop, there is only stock level. There is a huge demand for that particular product, but there is no product in your shop. Then what happens? You're, you will be in the loss. 
in the business. That's why you should have proper stock. Very simple, iPhone 12 right now is there. iPhone 13 comes, iPhone 13 comes. There are huge demand, almost 50 customers are ready to buy, but there is no mobile in your shop. You lose your profit, your gain almost gone. Customer will not come again. Why? Because always there is no stock in your shop. That's why we should have proper stock, proper quantity of number of stocks in your shop so that your business will run smoothly and you will be in profit. Now, this is all about stock level. In the next session, we'll go with the problems. Now, second concept is called as EOQ. What is EOQ? Economic order quantity. What is EOQ? Economic order quantity. So, under EOQ, we'll go with like 2AO whole divided by C. What is A? A for annual consumption, C for cost of placing an order, and O for cost of placing an order, C for cost of carrying cost. What is this? Very simple. Now, I'll give you one more example for this. You are the head of the family. Just assume that you are married, you have children, grandchildren, everybody. You are the head of the family. Now, what is your family income? Just assume that there are 10 members are there in your family and your family income is around 40,000 per month. Now, just assume that your income is 40,000 per month. What you do for every month groceries and all. So you are supposed to bring all the groceries, your um, stationaries, whatever you need for your work or your home, or as whatever food item you are supposed to bring. Now, so normally what happens, whatever groceries are the provisions you will bring, you will bring for max to max one month or two months. The rice, wheat and everything, oil and something, you will get it for two months, max to max two months. Clear? Now, why it is two months? If you get it in the bulk, the cost will be less. If you get it in the bulk, the cost will be like the rice, one kilo is 50 rupee. One kilo is 50. If you get 25 kilo, they will give you for 45 rupee per kilo. Like that, the quantity is more, the cost per unit will be less. Similarly, you plan, being a head of the family, you plan properly and you purchase all your provisions. Hope you are clear. You plan properly and buy all your provisions. Now, in this what happened, max to max you may bring two months food. So they will give you like one kilo 50 rupee, 25 kilo 45 rupee. Now, if you go for 250 kilo, you will get it for 38 rupees per kilo. Will you buy the shopkeeper telling that instead of buying 1 kilo and 25 kilo, you buy 25 kilo. You are the head of the family. You should take decision. 250 kilo you take, I'll give it for 38 rupees. Will you buy? The answer is no. Why? Because even though it is 38, you have to pay for 250 kilo. Your salary is only 40,000. If you spend whole your 40,000 for rice, what about other? That is the reason you will not buy. One more reason. You have a small house. If you bring 250 kilo, where do you keep all your 250 kilo? For that, you have to go for big house. Again, extra cost. And the third one. If you go for 250 kilo, the usage will be around eight months. Till eight months, you have to use this rice. There may be chances of rat. There may be chances of damage, pilferage, perishing. So after three months, everything will become fungus. That's why by keeping all this, you plan properly. You will not go for one kilo. You will go for 25 kilo. You will not go for 250. In middle, average, that is called EOQ. Hope you are clear what is EOQ? Economic order quantity. You have to plan properly. You have to think properly. What is the best thing I can buy? What is the best cost I can buy? By keeping in mind the maintenance, storage, your cost, interest, 
everything keeping in mind you have to buy so for this you no need to go in detail they have given a small formula if you apply this formula you will get your evoq clear if you apply this formula you will get your evoq clear this is only called as economic order quantity annual consumption means per year how much you need that is annual consumption cost of placing an order placing an order means you have to give a call you have to uh, go through the broker go through the agent whatever cost incurred for that cost of carrying cost bringing that that is called carrying cost and keeping in the go down that is a carrying cost hope you are clear yes so by applying all this we do your evoq that is only economic order quantity next abc analysis what is the next one abc analysis now under this technique material are classified according to their values so that costing and more valuable materials are given attention the stock will be classified on the group like abc again i'll give you a small example for that what is abc means you have gold with you you have gold with you you have books with you you have gold with you you have books with you along with that one more i can take example of helmet helmet gold book now normally what happens where do you keep your gold normally you keep your gold in locker locker means you go to your uh, room in the room there will be almira will be there in that one small locker will be there there you will keep gold even though it is 1 gram gold you will keep it in the locker now where do you keep your book same in the room or in the front room hall room if there is a bookshelf is there in that you will keep book rack you will keep you will not keep it in the locker right similarly the helmet a small small thing your hand gloves your socks and all where do you keep in the front room or outside if there is any small cupboard or almira is there there you keep all your helmet or as on the vehicle only you will fix near the gate near the compound you will keep all this so normally it will be outside now now tell me why do you keep gold in the locker why do you keep all the books in the book rack and why do you keep your socks uh, hand gloves helmet normally outside within the compound reason is we give more importance to the gold normally less importance to the books least importance to the your helmet now i can call gold as a category i can call book as b category i can go call helmet as c category this is called a b c analysis hope you are clear what is a b c analysis a b c analysis there is no full form for a b c analysis a b c means the grading so in your examination if you got 95 plus a grade 80 b grade below 80 it will be c grade similarly the categories will be given for your abc analysis hope you are clear good now under this abc how it implement in your company of production like whatever raw materials you bring if it is a perishable they will be called like if you go to any shop normally even though it is 10 kilo jaggery 10 kilo wheat or something you will carry aram se easily but only one egg will you carry easily no you will keep it safely because egg comes under a category perishable breakable that's why under this whatever raw material goods or something is there in your office we have to categorize a b c all a comes under priority b second and c third this is called a b c analysis it is also known as always better control under group a item high value b item medium value c item low value hope you are clear good these are the abc categories now 
Next topic will be bin card. What is the next topic? Bin card. Now, under bin card, what happens? Bin card plays shelf. Bin card, I'll give you a simple example before we go for definition. Bin card, bin means what? Like we call that dustbin. Dustbin means what? Bin means it is a box, bucket. If you put dust, then it will become dustbin. If you put some papers and all, it will be like your stationary bin. Similarly, you have a small box. Okay, you have a small box. Just assume that you are running some stationary shop. Now, in this box, you have chocolates. You have chocolate. How many chocolates are there? 100 chocolates are there. So I'm not good at drawing. Yes, how, how many chocolates are there? There are almost 100 chocolates are there. Now, in this what happens? Some five or six kids came. They, they asked that I need five chocolates, one rupee each chocolate. What do you do? You take five chocolates and give. Now, how many chocolates are there? 95. Another seven kids came and they asked for chocolate, one rupee chocolate. Again, seven less. 95 plus 7, now it is 88. Similarly, if somebody purchases chocolate will reduce and more chocolate added means it will be added. Now, every time, now it is 88. Every time you will count one by one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 88. Tomorrow again counting. No, it is difficult. What you are supposed to do? You have to keep a small chit. Small chit card. Card. Okay. In that you have to mention 88. You insert that chit in this. It is 88. Just keep that chit in the bin. Next time again, 8 chocolates are sold. Take out this card. Remove this. Make it as 80 and put. Now, if somebody asks you how many chocolates are there, no need to count. Just take this chit. Read out, you will find 80. You can say easily, there are 80 chocolates are there. Clear? These are only thing we call it as bin card. Similarly, in factory, what happens? Raw materials will be there. Every time they use for consumption or production, they put a small chit. That chit is called as bin card. That chit is called as card. Whatever the box is called as bin, bin card. Hope you are clear. Good. Bin card place shelf rack or any help of shortage container where material are kept as a card is attached to each bin. Sometimes we put inside the bin. Sometimes we attach to the bin. So this card is card is known as bin card. It is maintained by the storekeeper. It shows the receipt issue and balance of each. This is all about your bin card. Hope you are clear. Good. So bin card versus store ledger. You know all about bin card. What about store ledger? See, I don't want to keep some chit in the bin because I cannot find where is that card. So what I do, I will don't go for this. I'll keep one person, accountant or some auditor or some person or bookkeeper. What is his job? His job is he has to Keep 200 pages of book in that 10 chocolates are taken. He has to write in the book 100 minus 10. Now it is 90. Another 8 chocolates are taken. He should write it in the book minus 8. It is 82. Another 2 is taken. Now it is 80. Like this, he has to write in the book. He is called as store ledger. Okay. You need not to check the box. Just if you see the book, you will find out how many chocolates are there, how many raw materials are there. Now, what is the difference between bin card and store ledger? You know everything, so you can write on your own itself. Bin card is maintained by storekeeper. It is maintained by cost department. Attached to the bin, but it is in the book is in the office. Every transaction entered in bin card separately. See, every time we insert new card, but summarized, everything is there in the book itself. Material is made in quantity only, but here 
in the book not only quantity the price also we write entries in bin card made and when the transaction occur but here every time we do hope you are clear this is all difference about bin card as well as store ledger so i'll go back to all the slides so that you can take screenshot so these are the topics we are going to discuss and these are the stock level and these are the evo q and these are abc analysis your bin card difference between bin card and store ledger hope you are clear today it was little lengthy but it was interesting actually so you learn more why i am explaining so much these things means in your examination you will get five mark question why this explanation very simple even though you forgot this definition whatever stories i told you according to that you can frame your definition you can frame your meaning so that at least out of five you may get three or four marks okay before knowing a uh, without knowing concept never go for any definition now you read bin card easily you will understand now you read evo q you will understand better now you read stock level you will understand better why because you know the story of that that is a concept that is a reason i'll go in detail so next session we'll go with problems on stock level so that it will be interesting and more uh, very important for your examination thank you